It's Fix It Friday! I gotta grab a few things before we get started. Hi there! Welcome to Artfully Sew, where we get creative with our quilting, sewing, and upcycling projects. Today is Fix It Friday! On Fix It Friday, we take some a small project and just pump it up real quick. And I have a project that I've been meaning to work on for a long time. It's a jean jacket that I had bought at a thrift find a while ago. And a doily that I also bought at the same shopping trip. So I'm going to take this jean jacket and this doily and I'm going to put them together just like that. By the way, I'm Angela and I like to take old, lonely, forgotten fabrics and fibers and make them new. One of the services I offer is upcycling things for you. So if you have a jean jacket and an old doily from grandma or from a thrift find, I would be happy to transform it for you. But you will also learn in this video how to do it yourself. So hang in there and let's get started. My concern is that this is kind of mushy and if I don't, if I sew this to this without stabilizing it, it might, when I wash it, it might start to sag and I don't want that to happen. So I'm thinking I might use a stabilizer on it and the stabilizer that I'm going to use I'll put it down below in the in uh, my description so you know what to look for. And I usually use this when I make t-shirt quilts to stabilize the back of the quilts. Um, I mean the back of the t-shirts. I'm hoping that it will work on this as well. So I'm measuring this. The square is it's almost 10 inches. I'm going to cut the fusible webbing a little bit bigger than the square and then I can trim it once I fuse it. So this fusible webbing is 10 inches. My doily is a little less than that. But that way I can trim it after it's fused. And I'm going to warm up my Cricut because I use a Cricut to iron my fusible webbing. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna sip my tea. A little lemon ginger to brighten the soul and calm the tummy, so they say. Okay. The Cricut is all warmed up and ready to go. I have it set at 350 and I usually let it sit for 20 seconds on each time I press it. The most important thing you have to remember about fusible webbing is not to put it on the wrong way because otherwise you wreck your iron or it sticks to the pressing cloth instead which isn't good. Um, I usually just feel it with my fingers. I have such dry fingers that I automatically know that the side that my uh, hand is catching on <laughs> is the side that is the sticky side or the stuff that's going to stick to the doily. But even before I do that, I'm going to give this doily a good press because I can see that the edges are starting to come up a little bit and I want to make sure those are nice and flat. Mm -hmm. 
A lot of people think a Cricut is only for making stickers or pressing things on t-shirts, but you can use it for regular sewing. It's pretty awesome. Now you be nice to Sammy. There, now it's all set for pressing. Let's add the interfacing. Remembering, I'm gonna double check. Oh yes, this is the sticky side. My fingers are sticking to it. It's more rough. So I'm gonna put that down on the back side. I made sure that this doily, this is the back side. This is the side that I'm gonna press to sew to my jean jacket. See, look at how dry my hands are. Uh, Wisconsin is so dry in the winter. So now I just need to add a pressing cloth. I actually have a collection of t-shirts that I keep just for this purpose. Uh, I am gonna spray this first. And then I'm gonna add my pressing cloth. Okay, now I'm gonna add my Cricut. And there's a timer on here, so I'm just gonna push it for 20 seconds and then move it to a new area. I also like to let it cool just a minute or two, well, not a minute, but a few seconds just to cool down, then that glue kinda adheres better to the cloth that I'm attaching it to. Might just kind of let some air in because there's those hot flashes too. Oh, this is going to be nice. Now this won't shift. Okay, now I'm going to just take my scissors and I'm going to fussy cut the edges off so that it doesn't show outside of the square. Just wanna be careful that I don't cut the crocheted doily, that would be sad. My great grandma always used to say, the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. So I'm gonna take my time. Kinda. I'm gonna grab my little scissors. I'm getting a little nervous. Around the corner. Okay, now that I have that trimmed, I'm going to give it one more press with the Cricut to make sure that it's really sealed, especially around the edges because that's kind of where they can kind of get a little loose, especially after cutting. Got to remember the pressing cloth or you mess up your iron. And remember, a pressing cloth isn't anything fancy. You just use an old t-shirt. Make sure it doesn't have any graphics on it, though. Um, or even like a flower sack towel. Sammy, what are you saying? I forgot to push the timer, so that's about right. Hooray! Now we get to add it to the jean jacket. The other good thing about fusible webbing is that it's going to make sure that this lays flat and it's not going to shift when I sew it on the sewing machine as much as if I were to not have something stabilizing it. So I'm just going to grab some pins and pin this on and we'll whip it on the sewing machine and get her done. Let's 
let's move to the sewing machine. Okay, we're at the sewing machine. And I love to use um, superior threads. They're the best. I think that this neutral color will look great. I'm just going to sew along the edge. I'm not going to go on the brown. I'm just going to stay along the edge and see how that works. So I'm going to put this in my machine and get her going. This is a fun fix Friday project that can be done very quickly with just a few materials. And it's a fun, easy thing you can do because you can artfully sew. And since this project was really quick, I have time to play my ukulele. I hope uh, you have good luck working on your projects this week. If you have any suggestions for things that I can upcycle or that you need help with, please comment down below. Kermit the Frog is my spirit animal. Until next time, have a great weekend. I need to pray.